Welcome back. I'm on my way to Ikea right now in Brooklyn and Red Hook. And we are going to go check out the um, Ikea art event. I'm with my friend Audrey. Hi. Hi. So we are right here. We are going to Ikea. Why hello Ikea. We'll go inside and take some videos from inside as well. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. So today we are going to talk about the IKEA art event, how it happened itself. So you saw it from the first clip that I went on in March with my friend Audrey and we went and everything was there, but well, nothing was there. So I had to go back a second time and when I was there with Audrey, we're going to talk about that experience just for a second. First of all, I asked probably six, seven people. No one seemed to know what even the art event was or that there was an event coming or anything. When I finally got someone that knew what they were talking about from the merchandising department, she told me that it was coming in March, April, and May. So in the same breath, she gave me three different answers and it seemed like she herself didn't know what she was talking about. If you go to the Brooklyn Ikea, um, I can't honestly say why they would say stuff like that, but that's what happened. Then as we left, we got some stuff and we went home. Then we came back April 1st. On April 1st, I walked around the store for about an hour. I was told where it should be. Uh, I called online, I called the hotline, the 1-800 number, and they told me it should be in store in a certain department. So I went and walked around thinking there would be signage. Many of you have seen photos like this from Instagram. There are images of a clear display, a large black wall. So now we're gonna look around the department the way I looked around the department. Tell me what you see. Did you see it? I don't see it. Do you see it? Did you see it? I don't see it. So this is what we found was that. So I talked to four different people about the art event. One person told me that it had already gone to clearance back in December. One person told me to check the as is to see if anything was left. One person didn't know what it was. And the last person that I asked pointed me in the direction to he walked me directly over to where it was itself, and there it was. And this is what I found. Everything was there. All eight artists were there. Everything was clearly marked on the shelving, but there was no signage above, nothing to say that this was the art event. Everything looked like it had been dumped out of a box, not in, and not even in a nice way that normally Ikea takes care of their stuff. Usually you'll see a step and repeat of an item. This is everything just seemed dumped out in a haphazard hurry. Like the people who work there didn't care and or know what was going on and they just wanted to make space and just dump it. So I don't know about you, but to me this feels like a fail on the part of Ikea. I don't know if each store is run completely different or as a whole, but I've got, it's an, event where A, I was excited about the product, and B, where everything was not clearly communicated to the public. So I feel really sad that they did this, uh, happy and sad, happy that they did the, the uh, collaboration with these artists, but really sad in the way that it was communicated to the public. There was no official launch date, there was no official um, signage, there was no official campaign. If you look at collaborations that they've done with other uh, with other artists, when they've done the other art events, there's a clear date release, there's clear signage, there's a clear display, and this I felt like is it the IKEA's choice in Brooklyn itself to put it up a display or not, or is it IKEA Core? It was their decision. Either way, 
there was no clear date. I give this two thumbs down for how it was handled and two thumbs up for the products themselves. I feel like Ikea needs to either, they're a multi-billion dollar company that has hundreds of stores around the world. They can launch a product on one particular day. They clearly can move merchandise and they clearly know how to market it. Why did they fail here? I would just like to bring this to your attention and in the next coming videos, I'm going to do an unboxing of several of the sculptures that we purchased. And remember, I bought six of the eight. So do you remember which two I wasn't going to buy and why? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe below. There's links below to Ikea. There also is going to be, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can hear when we have new content. There's also going to be a link to my personal Instagram. So don't forget to follow. Thanks for joining us.